First time I saw this guitar in 1994. I was a kid. I was 14 years old. And I'm like, holy crap, it's a Di Acquisto. And holy crap, there's 22 other blue guitars. All on a table. And back in those days, in the guitar show days, it was great. It was literally a bunch of, I don't know, dudes that were not dressed in their Sunday best and they had fanny packs full of money. And it was the only time in the world that like grown men, um, it was socially acceptable to have a fanny pack. You know, and they'd have hundred dollar bills, walk around Philly or the New York show. And it's really, the, being in this room makes me nostalgic for the guitar show days because that was something that my father and I did. And um, to play this thing is really cool. Um, again, I'm an electric guitar player, so, so I'm too deaf to fully appreciate the projection on this, and plus I'm on the wrong side of it. Um, but this is, what was it, the, the, I think the last uh, De Quist ever made. But, you know, I mean, somebody's going to be very lucky when they get this, and all of these, you know, because you got to buy, to get this, you got to buy that and that. So, and there's, there's not a bad guitar in the room, and a lot of these luthiers are not with us anymore. And um, I see a Bill Collins guitar, another Di, Di Acquisto, um, Bojo behind me. So, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to buy something that is extremely special. And it was special to one man, Scott Chinnery, and special to all these builders who participated. Because if you were, I remember back in those days, if you were asked by Scott, that was a big deal. It was like, hey, you know, it's like Scott asked me to build a blue guitar. 